I built a clear intake for my car so you can see exactly what goes on as air goes into your engine. And I know what you're thinking right now, air is clear, you're not gonna see anything. But don't worry, there's a solution for that and I guarantee you're about to see something really cool. got this absolute beauty of a custom intake installed on my car here. I'm going to go ahead and start it up and see if this thing will even start and run with this crazy intake on it. Yeah, there we go. All right, we are running with this absolutely ridiculous clear intake. I'm going to go ahead and let this warm up for a little bit and then give it some revs and see if we see anything with just the clear intake before we run some fog through it to really visualize the airflow into the engine. Alright guys, so that was the test with normal clear air. As you could have guessed going through the intake, air is still clear and you couldn't see anything. Now let's go ahead and break out the fog machine so you could visualize the air going into the engine. <laughs> Alright, so this was looking really cool. Let's go ahead and play that clip back in half speed so you could see everything just a little bit more clearly. The first thing that I thought was really interesting when I was running this fog into this engine was that the fog had absolutely no problems passing through the air filter and into the engine. The other initial thing that I thought was really cool was just how well I was able to see the fog passing through that clear piping into the engine. Now let's go ahead and watch some super slow-mo clips that are eight times slowed down and there's a few really cool things we're going to see in those clips. Alright, so the first really cool thing that I noticed was just how thick that fog was in the intake. This really allowed me to visualize the air into it and I was just super, super happy with this. The second interesting thing that I noticed was that air was coming out of my blow off valve at idle. This means that at idle, there was enough vacuum at the intake manifold to be pulling the blow off valve open and allowing air to escape through it. Now let's go ahead and give this thing some revs and show you a few different camera angles so you could really see that fog going into the intake. Then we're gonna disconnect the blow off valve so I could show you the crazy thing that happens when there is no blow off valve and your turbo surges. From the slow-mo from when we were revving this engine up, it is absolutely awesome to see that air accelerate and absolutely speed up like crazy on the way into the engine once that throttle is cracked. This gives you a really good idea of the volume of air that your engine is actually consuming once you have that throttle open. Now let me show you what is my favorite part of this video. We're going to disconnect our blow off valve so the turbo goes into surge so there's essentially nowhere for that air to go once you close your throttle. I'll show you the raw clips and then explain what's happening. 
To make this even a bit more ridiculous, I added some length to the intake pipe and I also ran the fog machine directly into it. This would give us the best visualization of what that air is doing once your turbo starts surging. That looked pretty cool and it demonstrates a few very important things that happen when your turbo starts surging. Before I get into those though, I want to do a really, really quick explanation of what a blow-off valve does. A blow-off valve is a pressure relief valve that lets air out of your intake system once you close the throttle plate when your engine is in boost. This means that there's high pressure air inside your intake and it has nowhere to go once the throttle plate to your engine closes. This air has to go somewhere though, and without a blow-off valve to allow that air to escape, it goes back through the turbo. That's exactly what you're seeing in this clip. It's not easy for this air to escape the turbo without a blow-off valve. After all, your turbo is spinning super, super fast, and its job is to compress air and push it towards the engine, not let air back out through it. Because of that, you have a lot of pressure past the turbo, but your turbo is still trying to compress and it ends up fighting itself. That's how you get compressor surge when you let off throttle and you hear the sound that so many people love. Your turbo allows air back through it, but it doesn't do it smoothly and that's why you get that sound and that's why you get pressure waves coming back through your intake and you could actually see in this clip that the air coming out of the intake pushes the fog machine away from it. And of course, this does look great on camera and it does sound really cool when you let off throttle, but it's not great for your turbo. If you want to see a really in-depth video on blow-off valves so you could learn all about them and the potential risks of not running one on a turbocharged car, check that out on my channel. All right, guys, that was super awesome to see the airflow going into this engine. If you like this idea and you want to see more videos like this, I have another video planned that instead of seeing air going into your engine, you're going to see it coming out of the engine and there might be flames coming through this clear tube at some point. If you want to support me and this channel more so I can make more crazy videos like this, go ahead over and check out my Patreon. There you'll be able to see all of my video content early as well as get access to an exclusive Discord server where I post pictures and sneak previews as I'm making video content. And you could also ask me questions if you're working on and troubleshooting your car. So with that said, like this video if you've enjoyed it, share it with anybody that you might think would enjoy this video, and I hope you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Take care.